Welcome everybody to 18th Century Saturday. Um, my name is Cynthia Walker. For those who don't know, I'm the director here at the Brickstore Museum. And today we're gonna to take a look at what was happening here in Southern Maine in the 1700s. So um, I will just take a moment and mention that I am sitting in my office here at the Brickstore Museum because we are reopened um, for visits uh, to our galleries to explore our exhibits. Um, the two big ones right now, obviously, are uh, something called Perspectives 2020, which um, talks about a lot of the history that if you've been visiting our Century Saturdays programming for the past few months, you will be familiar with. So it's talking about the history of the Kenny Bunks as well as the differing perspectives that come with that in the form of uh, art and artifacts. So that's here in our main museum. And then of course, in our um, program center, we have a really special exhibition um, of modern photography called New Mainers. And that is talking about uh, recent immigrants here to Maine. So both of those are on display if you want an afternoon visit of a little bit of respite from the rest of the day in the world. Um, that's what the museum is here for. So you are more than welcome to join us Tuesday through Saturdays, we're open. Um, to the public with limited uh, capacity, of course, and masks and plenty of hand sanitizer to go around. Um, so you're more than welcome to join us for that. But if not, I will say that we are continuing to do virtual programming for now. Um, number one, because not everyone is comfortable coming out. And number two, we have found that these um, digital uh, programs reach far more people um, recently anyway, than, than in-person programming would. Um, so we really appreciate everybody's uh, engagement and um, participation in these programs. So um, with that, I'd like to take a moment to thank our generous sponsors, uh, or supporters, I should say, in the Maine Humanities Council, as well as the Maine 200 Bicentennial Commission, who um, supported us through grants to bring this Century Saturdays program to life this year. And of course, our marquee sponsor, Kenny Bunk Savings Bank, right here in town. So what was the 18th century? Depending on who you were, you would have experienced this era in many different ways. The theme that seems to run through everyone's experience, whether you are a colonist, Wabanaki, uh, or an enslaved person here in the Kenny Bunks uh, in the 18th century, was the struggle for different kinds of freedoms. Some were successful, some were not, and, and we'll talk about that. But you'll see what I mean when you explore today's portal. What has struck me in our research of the 18th century is the fact that at least 16 wars were fought over this century in North America, with at least seven of those wars taking place in or stretching to New England. Um, and I just hadn't thought about it before. Uh, that means each of those wars lasted for several years each. And considering that New England has not seen a war on its land, where, where it currently sits, <laughs> uh, in at least 150 years, it can be really hard to imagine how hard and scary life was during this century of transition. It was almost as if people living here um, were under siege most of their lives in the 18th century. And that can be really scary living on a, on a um, remote frontier as they were doing. So nonetheless, in this portal, you'll also find um, the smaller movements and motions people were making towards personal happiness um, and improvement of their communities, whatever those communities were. Um, but we're also looking for your feedback. So what do you think is the most lasting theme of this 18th century? Uh, use the comments area on this page um, at the bottom to let us know your feedback and your thoughts um, on what was coming out of this century and kind of how that mirrors to today even. So like every Century Saturday before this one, um, this was intended to be an in-person program at the museum, which was included in your price of admission. So if you can, please consider donating the cost of a ticket, which is currently $5 for everyone, um, to the museum as you explore this program. And all of the funds that are being raised this summer throughout a variety of different programs are going to improving um, and building our digital learning center, which you are 
currently visiting on this portal. <laughs> So below me, you'll also find a historical uh, virtual exhibition for the 18th century in York County. Keep scrolling down, you'll find a lecture by uh, Michael Mailer of Historic New England. He's going to be speaking about the Lyman family who lived here um, in the Kennebunks, Southern Maine, and then moved to Massachusetts. So kind of connected in both ways. Um, and then hands-on activities and 18th century recipes to try at home. Um, and I will mention these were created by uh, one of the museum's remote interns this summer, Emma Sarnacki, who is um, coming to us from the Cooperstown graduate program. So we are thankful to have her as well as um, our other three interns that are um, really helping us out in program delivery this summer. So you'll be hearing a lot more from them as we go along um, in July, August, and September. So with that, I want to thank you for tuning in and have fun exploring the 18th century. <laughs>